So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set five years after the end of the original Voltron series and the defeat of Prince Lotor by the Voltron Force, Voltron the Third Dimension was a computer-generated series released in 1998, which ran until 2000. The new series was released to mixed response. Because of the departure from the anime look the original Voltron had, as well as several character changes, such as Prince Lotor, who is now voiced by Tim Curry. Animated by Mike Young Productions, the show won a 1999 Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Sound Editing. In the final battle with the Voltron Force during the original series, Lotor's battleship was destroyed and Lotor's body was heavily damaged in the wreckage. Alliance doctors healed and repaired Lotor using bionic parts. Once he recovered, the Galaxy Alliance's highest court found Lotor guilty of war crimes. Because of this, he was sentenced to life in solitary confinement in maximum security detention. Shortly into season two, the Lions and thus Voltron gained the ability to transform into stealth mode. The design of stealth Voltron differs from all other versions of the robot because it was completely designed and created in America and thus had no Japanese equivalent. The stealth Voltron transformation sequence was a bit longer and had a more cumbersome speech than the regular Voltron transformance sequence. It went, Ready to form Stealth Voltron. Activate interdimensional lock. Stealth servo systems connected. Stealth engines at maximum. Quantum thrusters are go. Let's go, Stealth Voltron Force. In this incarnation, the body of Voltron was rounder and less colorful, unlike its original form. Mainly it was black with some areas of color for all the lines except black lines. The rolled up legs of the stealth lions appeared almost as wheels while merged as stealth Voltron due to the round design. Its chest emblem had a complete overhaul in comparison to the normal form's emblem. Now it is a silver V for Voltron. The arms, due to the head design of the stealth lions, had a spike-esque protrusion on each arm. Stealth Voltron is the first and only Voltron to never be seen in normal animation. It has only appeared in computer-generated animation. Another change in this version of Voltron is that the Voltron Force pilots are finally color-coordinated with their lines and have lion head shaped helmets. Legal trouble occurred when Wep tried to make a new series. On March 11, 2010, at the Nickelodeon Upfront presentation, a new Voltron series entitled Voltron Panthera Force was announced and set for premiere in the fall on Nicktoons, with an announced premise that the series follows the exploits of a group of five young cadets brought together under trying circumstances to form a newly appointed Voltron Lion Squad, dubbed Panthera Force. Voltron Panthera Force is a worldwide events production in conjunction with Kickstart Production. On April 4, 2010, it was announced that the show's title had been changed from Voltron Panthera Force to Voltron Force. On June 7, 2010, Variety announced Web Productions, Classic Media, and Kickstart Entertainment's plans to air a 26-episode season of Voltron Force in 2011 to coincide with the 25th anniversary of their original series as well as Mattel's plans to release a toy line to tie in with the 25th anniversary of the original series and the launch of the new series. In March 2011, it was announced that Emmy-nominated composer Hal Beckett and Gemini-nominated composer Stefan Andrews would score the show. The Voltron Force logo and storyboards had been revealed on the official Facebook profile for the show, which was run by World Events Productions. Web and video game publisher THQ had announced partnership to produce video games based on the classic Voltron series, 
and Voltron Force in 2011 and 2012 respectively. However, only the game based on the classic series was released on XBLA and PSN in November 2011. Following the closure of THQ and its subsidiaries, the future and rights of the Voltron video games remain in question. On June 16, 2011, Nicktoons released the premiere of Voltron Force, which lasted until April 25, 2012. The show's premise was, Evil is back. The Drool King Lotor has returned with a dark energy that can destroy the galaxy. Our only hope, the Voltron Force. A team of five heroic pilots to control five awesome robot lions. When Lotor's monstrous robots attack, the lions come together to form Voltron, Defender of the Universe. The show centers on the reunion of the original Voltron Force and the group of cadets training to follow in their footsteps. In battle, they pilot their five robot lions and when necessary combine them to form the mighty robot Voltron. Among the enemies they face are their old nemesis Lotor and a corrupt military officer intent on destroying Voltron. After the defeat of King Lotor, the galaxy settled into peace. During a celebration, the Voltron lions went haywire. Sky Marshal Wade, head of Galaxy Garrison, ordered the Lions decommissioned and the Voltron Force dispersed. Lance, Pidge, and Hunk took positions within the Garrison, while Princess Allura returned to Eris. Keith, however, had disappeared. Under Wade's leadership, the Garrison has grown authoritarian. Meanwhile, Zarkon's son Lotor, once thought dead, has been revived and taken his father's mantle as the new King of Doom's forces. But the former members of the Voltron Force have not given up the fight. With the help of the cadets Daniel, Vince, and Allura's niece Larmina, they will reunite to get the Lions back, and Voltron will defend the universe once more. In this series, the Lions were given a much more rounded, sleeker appearance similar to the look of the Lions in stealth mode during Voltron the Third Dimension. Another big change with this series was that the Lions could alternate head formations meaning that all five lions could become the head and body of Voltron. With this new formation, it was also revealed that Voltron would receive a new main weapon other than the blazing sword when red, blue, yellow, and green lions took their place as the head and body of Voltron. But I'll go more into that in another episode. At the end of Black, Daniel still has Hagarium in him. The series was set to have a second season, which is why the season 1 finale left with a cliffhanger. However, due to poor ratings, storyline, and new characters, the series was cancelled. You can find all this information and more on the Voltron Wikia. The site will be linked in the description below. Next time on the origin and history of Voltron, I'll be bringing to you the backstory and capabilities of the five lines of Voltron, as well as the in-canon origin, so tune in then. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.